A genuinely happy person is one who brings happiness to those around them. A peaceful life does not mean a life free of toil and suffering, rather it means living without being swayed no matter what happens, this is a state of true peace and happiness. A smile is not only the result of happiness but can also be the cause of happiness. Activity is another name for happiness, give free, unfettered play to your unique talents, live with the full radiance of your being, this is what it means to be truly alive. As long as we are alive we will experience sufferings, but that does not mean we have to be unhappy, unhappiness comes from allowing ourselves to be controlled by life's ups and downs from feeling defeated, from losing hope, losing courage, losing the will to advance. Buddhism teaches that whatever our individual circumstances, we can always discover the capacity to help others. It also assures us that those who have suffered the most have the right to the greatest happiness. Freedom doesn't mean the absence of all restrictions, it means possessing unshakable conviction in the face of any obstacle. This is true freedom. Genuine happiness is found in courage. Courage is the gateway to happiness. Happiness does not exist as an isolated quality, nor does it conform to a single fixed pattern. Happiness is something that breathes and lives in the relationships between people. Happiness is not something far away, it is to be found neither in fame nor in popularity. When you live with integrity, your heart begins to fill with a happiness as vast as the universe, it's about being true to yourself and starting from where you are, from there your happiness will expand and grow limitlessly. Happiness is to be found within your own life, in your thoughts at this very moment, you yourself are most noble and precious, you have no need to be envious of anyone or to long for far off things. If you want to build a happy life, you have to give careful thought to the foundations, happiness certainly cannot be secured on appearances or affectation, happiness comes down to the inner quality of our life at a given moment. It is impossible to build one's own happiness on the unhappiness of others, this perspective is at the heart of Buddhist teachings. Just as a tree that lived a thousand years lasts another thousand years after it has been cut, happiness will continue and endure to the extent that we have suffered to attain it. Leave behind the passive dreaming of a rose-tinted future. The energy of happiness exists in living today with roots sunk firmly in reality's soil. One cannot expect to become happy without hardship or effort, because we challenge ourselves we become strong, to become strong is to become happy. Our personality doesn't determine our happiness or unhappiness, rather it is the substance of how we've lived our lives that decides. Poverty is nothing to be ashamed of. What's disgraceful is to have an impoverished heart or to live dishonestly, being born in a stately mansion is no guarantee of happiness, any more than being born in a shack dooms one to misery. Suffering is the mother of realization, worries and failures, so long as we are not defeated by them, become the raw material with which to construct lasting happiness. The exclusive pursuit of one's own interests cannot bring true happiness, it is in striving for the sake of others that the great path to genuine happiness is opened. The joy of life is to be found not by evading life's sufferings but by grappling with them to the finish, escapism cannot produce true happiness, happiness based on delusion does not last. Enlightenment comes from seeing the truth, no matter how unpleasant it may be. 
The more happiness we bring to others, the happier we ourselves become. The truth is that devoting ourselves to others' happiness is actually a necessary condition for becoming genuinely happy ourselves. True happiness means forging a strong spirit that is undefeated, no matter how trying our circumstances. We each move forward secure on our own earth, not the earth of others. Happiness is something we must create for ourselves, no one else can give it to us. When we draw strength from within, our outlook undergoes a dramatic transformation, Everything around us looks completely different, to be strong that is the key to happiness. Thank you.